Hello and welcome back to Architect Piper. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to design a pent floor within the heap proof of a bungalow. So this is something a lot of people use. A lot of people use this technique and this kind of design. So I'm sure you must have come across it or heard about it. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to execute it in Autodex Revit. So I promise it's going to be easy. There's nothing too complex about it. You just need to understand some principles while designing a pent floor in a, within a heap proof bungalow. Okay? So if you haven't done so make sure you hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified when we release new content like this like this video if it was helpful also share with a friend because it's going to be helpful with, to you so you, you can share it with a friend to be helpful to them okay without any further ado we're going to jump right into the main content of this video so let's go all right so the first thing to keep in mind when designing a pen floor in a bungalow especially when you're using heat proof is the massing for instance, if I go to annotate here and I go to detail line, I'm just going to sketch the massing I want to use. Let's just say we start from a normal rectangle. Okay, so the thing is that you need to consider one thing first that your pen floor must have a staircase. You get you must have a staircase leading to that pen floor, which is I think common sense to a lot of us. So the thing about this um, staircase is that most times the staircase will usually bulge out because that is why I recommend. So it will give a pathway for ventilation. Let's say you have a bulge out here and you have a bulge out here. This thing, this bulge out is very important to take cognizance of the size of this bulge out because the wider this thing is, the wider the main mass it should be. For instance, if you have a bulge out like this. There may be a potential issue when you are roofing because of this is too wide in my own opinion so you need to put something that is relatively small compared to the main massing of this project so let's just say we drag it back to this point and drag it back to here okay so another thing in massing in pen floor design you should consider especially pertaining to heat proof is you should always locate your main pen floor space around the middle because of this thing usually causes a lot of roof issue. For instance, some people will locate the pen floor here. You will now see that the pen floor design will now be looking like a duplex design. So, and that is not what we want, especially when we are carrying the pen floor design for an approval where they said in this zone is strictly bungalows. And we want to still create a pen floor regardless. So, you should take cognizance of that. You should try and mask your pen floor space somewhere within the middle of the project. So, this staircase will serve as the access here. And this will serve as the access to this point here maybe this will be the uh, ancillary spaces of this your main pen floor space which may serve as maybe the wc or something so you should take cognizance of that this is going to be the main space and all this thing will be within the roof this can bulge out if you choose to and this can still stay within inside the roof still being ventilated so these principles outside the way i'm just going to delete all these lines and start creating the pen floor proper so of course the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create some levels so currently we are using revit 2024 so let me just make this interface this project browser i want to simplify it i don't want all these sheets and views to be bulging around too much so i'm just going to delete all these sheets select all of them delete i'm going to minimize all this electrical mechanical plumbing and structural so of course the first thing to go if i want to edit the um, levels i'm going to go to these elevations and i'm going to go to this east elevation firstly i'm just going to select all of this and i'm going to right click and i'm going to hide in view by elements then i'm just going to select this second level and delete it delete all level in corresponding views then i'm going to change this to 01 ngl that is the natural ground level okay then i'm going to go to architecture again i'm going to go to level and i'm going to create another level so now i'm going to be creating the dpc let's say at 600 let me just place it here okay one thing to take on this sense is this level i didn't set the level head so i'm just going to click on it and change it to the level head from this my template let me change it to eight millimeter head and i'm going to drag it here so now i'm going to rename this level as 02 dpc okay so they'll ask me do you want to rename corresponding views i'm going to click yes so now I'm going to go to levels again and I'm going to create another level. This time I'm going to be creating the, let's say, the, okay. I'm going to go over here, click on level again. I'm going to click on this drop down icon and change it to this 8 millimeter head. Then I'm going to create, let's say, the ceiling level or rather the pent floor level or ceiling level. I'm still going to create the main roof level. Then I'm going to create another level for the pent floor. I'm also going to create some lintel levels here. Let me just create a lintel level in between and another lintel level here in between. 
Okay, so now I place this level anyhow, so I'm just going to quickly adjust them. So I'm going to click on this, the distance between this, I want to make it 2.4 meter because I want my lintel high. So I'm going to name this as 03 lintel 1. Or 03 lintel, let me just leave it as 03 lintel. And I'm going to click yes, corresponding views. Then I'm going to click on this L4 and I'm going to name it 04 ceiling. selling or pent floor level then i'm going to click yes then i'm going to click on this and i'm going to name this 05 roof roof level then i'm going to click yes corresponding views then i'm going to change this to 06 06 lintel 2 or 06 lintel since we're not giving it after and numeric values yes then i'm going to call this 07 pent roof And I'm going to click yes. All right. So now this is looking good. So we're going to, going to click on this. We're going to now use some dimensions. Annotate, aligned. And we're just going to dimension here to here. Then we're also going to dimension here to here and here. Okay. So after doing that. All right. So we're going to be adjusting these dimensions. So I'm just going to click on this. Okay. They asked me to save the project. I'm going to quickly save it. And let me just quickly choose the place i want to save it and i'm just going to save it all right so it's still saving all right so now we are just going to be adjusting these dimensions and we're going to be adjusting these levels using these dimensions so i think this ceiling level we're going to change it to 3.3 meters we're going to be changing the distance here to 600 we're going to be changing this lintel to um 2.4 okay then we're going to be changing this pent floor to three meters okay i think this is fine all right okay let me even reduce it even more self so i'm just going to change this to 300. Uh -huh. so i think 2.7 that is 3.3 all right so now we've created our levels we're now going to go to dpc and we're going to start drafting start drafting okay so we're going to go over to this level one which is currently ngo it's just it didn't re rename and correspond so i'm just going to rename it as 01 ngo okay so once we go to ngo we are now going to go to architecture we are going to go to walls so now we are just going to click on this drop down to create walls you can simply click on a wall you can click on edit type you can click on duplicate then maybe uh, click on this edit then edit the properties you want to edit but currently i'm okay with this property you can change the material if you want you can also go and change the thickness so the material library is loading now once we've clicked on this you can also change the thickness of the wall which is all fine and good but i'm okay with this so i'm just going to click ok and i'm going to click ok so i'm going to be using those principles i mentioned prior to draft the plan so i'm just going to first draft the box first okay so let me just quickly design something let me just click on this and design some spaces so i'm just going to call this a central space I'm going to call this another space. I'm going to call this another space. I'm also going to call this some series of spaces. Let me just call this some series of spaces here. And I'm just going to call this maybe a staircase space. So I could just drag this to adjust this. I could just drag this to adjust it small. Okay. So I think that is fine. So now we are going to first draw, um, design our staircase. So I'm just going to go to architecture. I'm going to select all these words and make sure I set the levels. Well, currently the stop constraint is showing unconnected. So I'm going to click on this and change it to roof level. I'm going to select all these inner walls and change it from roof level to ceiling level. So it's only the external walls that will be on roof level. So now I'm going to be drawing some bulge out for the pent floor. So I'm just going to click on wall at NGO. This time I'm going to set the top constraint to the pent roof because this wall here will go up to the pent roof. So I'm just going to select it here and draw it here. Draw it here. Then I'm also going to do the same thing. Draw it here and draw it here and draw it here. Then I'm going to click on this split element. I'm going to split here. I'm going to split here as well. Then I'm just going to trim this and trim this too. All right. All fine and good. So now let me just drag this space here and drag this space here so it won't be too, it won't bulge out too much. <clears throat> okay, all fine and good. We're just going to click on architecture. We're going to draw another wall here. So I'm going to be drawing a wall inside here. And this wall, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to set it up until the roof selling level. 
and i'm going to end it here then i'm going to click on modify i'm going to click on split element and just split here and trim it here trim it here trim it here so let's quickly draft out some floors for this building so i'm going to go to architecture i'm going to go to floors then i'm going to select the floor i want to use i'm going to use this my dpc slab 150 which you can still create your own floor slabs but i did that in my full course which you can check out the link will be in the description below to get a full revit to tutorial course but you can still use this one to learn a lot of things so i'm just going to draft out the floor profile and i'm just going to click on finish okay so now we are going to draft out okay this floor we made a mistake we drafted this floor in the ngl and the oversized concrete is not meant slab is not meant to be in the ngl so i'm going to click on it and i'm going to go over to this properties panel here i'm going to click on this level drop down icon and i'm going to change it to dpc so the floors will be set at dpc all right so the next thing i want to do is the entrance step so to do that i'm going to go to architecture i'm going to go to stairs so under the stairs i'm going to click on this drop down to select monolithic steps so i'm going to click on edit type and i'm going to click on duplicate and i'm going to name these steps steps s-t-e-p-s all right so i'm just going to click ok so now i'm just going to click on this run type and i'm going to click on it then i'm going to click on duplicate and i'm going to call these steps again then i'm going to click ok so under this underside surface i'm going to change it from um, smooth to stepped and i'm going to change the structural depth to 450 all right so i'm going to click ok and i'm going to click ok so now we are going to make sure that our base level is ngl and our top level is ngl so we're going to be sketching the profile of our staircase so i'm just going to draw the boundary lines first i'm going to draw it from here up to 900 because we're creating straight steps i'm going to draw it from here up to 900 then i'm going to click on the risers and draw some lines once i draw one line i'm going to go over to this modify tab click on this offset key here then i'm going to impute the value i want to offset which is 300 which is the normal thread depth of a staircase so i'm going to offset this i'm going to make sure this offset is checked this copy icon is checked so i'm going to be offsetting this i'm not going to offset this okay so it's showing four risers created one remaining so i'm just going to offset one more and i'm going to click on this trim to trim it very well okay i actually don't need this last one so i'm going to delete this so it's going to be one step below so i'm going to click on riser um step part and i'm going to draw a step part in the middle going upwards so i'm just going to click on finish okay then i'm going to click on finish so as you can see the thing came with some um railings which i don't need i'm going to delete it since it's just a small step so i'm going to click on this icon here to access the 3d view so I'm, we are going to see what we've done so as you can see the staircase didn't place it actually placed the inverse way so i'm going to click on it at this staircase i'm going to click on it and click on flip then i'm going to click finish so as you can see you can see how it's going okay there is currently an issue here our uh, desired number of risers is too much that is why you can see the risers is not high enough so i'm just going to go over to this place to this um, properties panel change this desired number of risers from five to four because it's four risers we did so you can see that if i click on it you are going to see the riser height will adjust if i increase it back to five which it means more risers is going to divide everything and the riser height will decrease to 120 so like, we're going to change it back to four okay all good and fine so we're going to go back to this ngl and we're going to continue our drafting now so we're going to create the staircase to create the staircase we don't want to create it on the ngl we're going to create it on the dpc all right so now we're going to go back to architecture we're going to go to stairs so under these steps we're now going to draft up we're going to set the level of the steps we're going to change these steps from these steps we created we want to create normal monolithic steps so i'm just going to click on this monolithic steps so now i'm just going to set the level the top level will be at um selling level which is in is inadvertently the pent floor level you get so i'm going to click on edit and i'm going to click on edit okay not the edit calculations i'm going to click on edit the 150 mm depth so i think everything is set and everything is good so i'm just going to click okay click okay then i'm going to click on sketch staircase as usual so i'm going to draw our boundary lines i'm going to draw one from here i'm going to draw one to here to about five meter then i'm just going to draw one so i'm going to click on offset and i'm going to be offsetting 1350 millimeter done to create the step part so i'm going to create this offset this then i'm going to make sure i trim these boundary lines then i'm going to click on risers and i'm just going to draw some risers here i'm going to draw some risers here then i'm going to start offsetting so i'm going to be offsetting 300 millimeter so i'm just going to offset two three four five six as you can see as i'm creating this take is you are going to see some annotation here showing eight risers created 14 remaining so i'm just going to keep offsetting till the numbers are balanced 
okay they are saying 10 risers created 12 remaining so i'm just going to offset two more then i'm going to click on delete and now it's 11 risers created 11 remaining then i'm just going to click on this and trim this here and i'm also going to trim this here then i'm just going to select this and just click on mirror and i'm going to make sure this um, copy to icon is checked then i'm just going to mirror it all right so now i'm just going to click on trim and i'm just going to trim this and trim that too all right then i'm going to go to this stair part and i'm going to create the stair part so i'm just going to click on this peak lines icon then i'm going to be clicking on an offset of 750 so it will work well so i'm just going to be selecting this line so it will offset from these lines and offset here so it will just go and create a part so i'm just going to click on this to trim this then i'm going to click on finish i'm going to click on finish here so we are going to create our staircase all right so now this is done now we are going to move to the pen floor okay so you are going to see how all the principles i told you is going to apply so if you go to this selling level which is a depend floor we can do something it's always good when creating pen floors you should use the existing walls on ground floor so you can trace out the walls to continue it this is usually the job of grids but we are going to use this here because we actually want this thing to come out well and be structurally stable so i'm just going to go over to this underlay i'm going to click on it and i'm going to click on underlay the dpc so we're going to be seeing the walls in the dpc in a half tone so we can use it as a reference point to create our pen floor space so i'm just going to go to architecture i'm going to go to walls the, i'm going to set the constraint of the wall from ceiling level to pen pen roof then i'm just going to be drawing some walls here i'm going to draw some walls uh i'm going to draw another wall here and i'm going to connect it to this one I'm going to draw some more lower walls here. I'm going to draw a wall here. Click on this. Just trace this wall from here. Trace it here. I'm going to trace this wall here. And I'm going to trace this wall now. All right, so I'm just going to draw another wall here. This particular wall is going to serve as a beam for the for this ground floor. So I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to change it to minus 450. So it's going to push downwards and serve as a beam. Okay, all fine and good. So we've created the pen floor space. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to architecture. We're going to go to floors and we're going to create a slab there. So we're just going to draw our slab profile. So once we've drawn the slab profile, we're going to draw it up to the staircase and we're just going to close it here. All right, so now we've done this, we're going to click on finish. Don't attach, we don't need it to attach. Okay, so I'm going to click on walls and I'm just going to design this space more properly. I'm going to create a room, a living room space uh, or a bedroom space. So I'm going to create a big closet. Let's say I create the wall up until here and I'm going to create the WC here. Okay, so now I'm creating the closet. I'm just going to use an annotation line tools. I'm going to draw a wardrobe of 600 millimeter then i'm going, going to use diagonal line to indicate that is a wardrobe so this is going to be a big closet then i'm going to place some doors i'm going to go to architecture i'm going to click on doors so i'm going to be placing these doors so now i'm just going to go and look for some door you can import doors in revit so i'm just going to click on this revit library all right so i've currently accessed my revit personal revit library so i'm just going to go and look for a nice double single swing door and i'm going to drag it in okay then once i've dragged it in you are going to see the thing will appear here so i'm just going to edit some properties of the door i'm going to change the door lintel height to 2.4 so it will match with the lintel i'm going to change the door off to 900 millimeters so i'm just going to click okay then i'm just going to place the door somewhere here okay to make the door hinges visible i'm just going to go over to this tab here this detail level I'm, I'm going to change it to fine so you are going to see the hinges of the door and the door properties so now you can see we have created a door here so i'm going to click on it again i'm going to click on edit i'm going to click on duplicate i'm just going to name this d2 then i'm just going to edit the parameters of this door i'm going to change the width to 750 so i'm going to create a smaller door for the toilet so i'm going to click apply and i'm going to click ok then i'm just going to place the door somewhere here all right so now we've created this door and i think we've created we have designed the basic space so now we are going to be working on the main roof so we're going to go to the 3d view and we're going to see what we've done so now we are going to be creating some um, concrete facials to carry the roof so we're going to draft some roof beams model some roof beams and the concrete facial that will carry it okay so we're going to go back to this roof level we're going to go to components 
model in place okay there is actual ways to create roof fascias but uh, i'm just going to be for the sake of this video i'm just going to be using some casework so i'm just going to go to casework i'm going to close to okay i'm going to click okay then i'm just going to click on sweep and i'm going to click on sketch part so under this sketch part is currently set in the level which i'm at which is the selling level then i'm just going to click on this and draw a concrete facial profile a, a profile for the sweep then i'm just going to click on finish and i'm going to go to 3d view and i'm going to draw this profile then i'm going to click on edit profile and i'm going to click on edit profile here then i'm just going to start drafting the concrete facial so i'm going to go about 300 millimeter high so i'm going to leave this at um, let's say 700 this so currently i'm just going to select this profile for future reasons and i'm just going to click on copy so let me try and select the profile then i'm going to click on copy then i'm going to assign a material to it so i'm going to be creating a material for the roof concrete facial then i'm going to click on change it to white plaster so it's a material i've created before in this template so all right so i'm going to, going to click ok and i'm going to click on finish all right so now we've done this i'm going to go back to this selling level and i'm just going to click on this and i'm going to click on copy then i'm just going to copy or i'm simply going to click on it and i'm going to click on mirror then i'm just going to mirror it pick the center of this staircase mirror it here so i'm going to click on this click on edit sweep click on edit sketch part then i'm just going to adjust it a bit to suit then i'm just going to click on finish all right so one thing we want to try and make sure is that uh okay i think this is fine okay so i'm just going to click on finish so now i think everything is set to create the main roof so to create the main roof as usual we're going to go to this roof level so in this roof level we're not going to be drafting out our roof so i'm just going to go to architecture i'm going to go to roof under this roof we're going to select the roof type for this um roof i just need a roofing sheet so i've already created a roofing sheet before okay i'm going to be leaving this template file available so if you want it you can support the channel by just dropping a token and it has the template all the materials and all the stuff to make your work faster on autodex revit so i'll leave the link in the description below for you to get the project file so you can get the template okay so i'm just going to draft out this roof and i'm just going to pick this point use this box to pick this point here if you didn't see what i did let me do it again i'm going to use this rectangle tool in the modify tab and i'm just going to pick this point and pick this point okay so now i'm going to change the roof slope to 45 degrees because one important thing to note is when creating pent floor within a hip roof the hip roof has to be very big and high so you let's say i would suggest 45 degrees at first even though it's at 45 degrees at the higher end so we're just going to use 45 degrees to start and i'm just going to click on it and we are going to click on base offset 300 since our roof beam uh concrete fascia is as high as 300 so i'm just going to put 300 here okay so now i'm just going to go back and i'm going to they're asking me to save project let me just quickly save it all right so as you can see we can see the 3d we can see how the roof is coming out so we're going to start creating the individual roof for this pen floor okay so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adjusting this first of all so we're going to click on this roof and we're going to go rotate it to this top view so we're going to click on edit profile we don't want this roof to be interfering with the spaces of the wall so what we're going to do for now is simple we're going to draw a in so within the profile of this roof we're going to draw a line up to like let's say three meters or 2.7 is still okay we're going to do the same here 2.7 then we're just going to angle the line at 45 degrees and we're going to draw another diagonal line at 45 degrees then we're going to trim everything then we're going to select all these lines and we're going to go over to this define slope and uncheck it then we're going to click on this split element to split in between then we're just going to trim this here and we're going to trim this here so we're going to do the same thing for this portion here we're going to draw the profile from here because the roof is actually encompassing this region we're now going to draw it to about let's say 3.3 we're going to draw it to about 3.3 these things are subject to change depending on how the model comes out then we're going to draw, draw this diagonal line and draw this diagonal line so i'm just going to trim this here and i'm just going to right click like i'm just going to select everything and define and check this define slope so there will be no slope defined so i'm just going to click on this and i'm going to try and mirror it to this other region so now that i've mirrored it i'm going to do the same thing split here then i'm just going to trim this okay so now i'm just going to click finish so you can see that the roof is no more interfering too much with this pent floor and it's actually giving it some provision this one is a bit too much so i'm going to click on edit profile i'm going to rotate it then i'm just going to select both of them and i'm going to push this down so about let's start from this point then i'm going to click finish so let's see how it's looking 
so as you can see it's looking much better so now we are going to click on this concrete facial and we're going to be copying it so we're going to click on edit in place so i'm going to rotate this once i select the concrete facial i'm just going to use this normal copy tool and i'm going to copy it i'm going to click on copy click on it and click off okay so now i'm going to click on it and i'm going to click on edit in place then i'm going to click on edit sketch then i'm going to select all these profiles i'm going to click on rotate rotate it by 90 degrees so things will become much faster then i'm just going to drag this down and i'm just going to drag it to this point and i'm just going to drag it here and adjust this profile this line profile to suit so i'm going to drag this here drag this down here so let's say we stop somewhere here so we're just going to drag this and drag this to this point so i'm just going to click on finish and i'm going to okay another thing we forgot to do is we forgot to set the level so as you can see it's still on this normal roof level so we're just going to click on edit work plane we are going to click on edit the work plane then we're going to set it at pencil um, roof then i'm going to click ok so the same thing we're just going to click on this we're going to go to this top view we're just simply going to click on mirror we're going to select the center of this roof and just mirror it so it's going to align perfectly okay the same thing we're going to click on this we're going to click on mirror this time we're going to select this diagonal line that is 45 degree so we'll mirror it here we're now going to click on edit sweep we're going to click on edit the sketch then we're just going to click on it and drag it you see i did this seamlessly without much editing and recreating just copied it and modified it so i'm going to click finish and i'm going to click finish okay so now you can see we have created the concrete facial for everything so we're now going to go over here we're going to go to okay for this case in the case of this front roof facial i want to make it a gable roof so i'm going to be doing one of my favorite design there so i'm going to click on edit type i'm going to click on this i'm going to click on edit sweep then i'm going to click on edit profile part then i'm going to click on this delete this then i'm just going to drag this to this point so it's going to form something here i'm going to click finish finish then i'm just going to mirror it to this region you are going to see what i'm going to do and i'm going to mirror it uh -huh. so now i'm going to click on finish so now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a roof for this height so i'm going to go to architecture i'm going to go to roof i'm going to set the level of the roof i'm going to send it to pent roof of course i'm going to set the base offset of the roof to 300 millimeters then i'm just going to draw the roof profile so i'm going to be picking here i'm going to pick here i'm going to pick here i'm going to pick here then i'm just going to pick this and i'm going to pick here to this point here i'm also going to go draw a line here pick here and pick to this point too 45 degrees then i'm just going to trim all of this i'm guessing this should be accurate so okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to annotate i'm going to go to a uh, line okay angular so i'm just going to try and measure this angle so i'm going to select here and select here making sure it's 135 degrees that is 45 degrees from the other axis i'm going to do the same for you okay i think it's accurate so now i'm just going to click on trim tool and i'm going to trim this line then i'm going to delete this so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this two line and uncheck this particular two sloped lines they are slope so after i've done that i'm going to go over to this slope here this overall slope and i'm going to change it to 45 degrees so it's going to align with this um the overall roof so i'm going to click finish and i'm going to set the offset okay the thing is currently at pen roof but i still wonder why it's not that high oh, okay there is an issue there is an issue okay so what happened was i'm just going to click this roof fascia is kind of off so i'm going to click on it and i'm going to do some editing so i'm going to click on this edit sweep then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on edit profile then i'm going to rotate it then i'm just going to highlight the profile and i'm going to bring it down and just move it to this point click finish and click finish so the same thing for this i'm just going to click on this edit sweep i'm going to rotate it to this approach view click on edit type edit select profile edit profile then i'm just going to highlight this by right clicking and holding control not necessarily hold control once i highlight it i'm just going to bring it down here and i'm going to click finish and i'm going to click finish i'm going to delete this one and i'm going to go to this top view i'm going to click on this and i'm just going to mirror it okay so now instead of this i'm just going to delete this one i'm simply going to click on this one and i'm going to mirror it fastly so everything will be very fast so i'm going to click on finish okay so this roof since this roof is almost the same with this roof i'm just going to click on mirror and i'm going to mirror it 
I'm just going to look for the center of this roof and I'm going to mirror it. So as you can see, you can see how we've created the paint floor for this roof here. Yeah? And soon we're going to be adding windows, okay? So now we're going to do the one for this center point, which I think is the most important. So we're going to rotate this here. Yeah? We're going to click on this. We're going to click on duplicate. We're going to click on and copy this roof. So I'm going to click on this roof. I'm going to click on edit profile. Then I'm just simply going to delete this now. And I'm going to draw the profile of this roof. I'm going to draw this here. Draw this here. Draw this here. Then I'm going to go over here and just draw this at an angle degree. Let's draw 45 degrees. Click on it. Then mirror this 45 degrees from the center point here. Then I'm just going to move this here. I'm going to click on this point and move it to this line here. All right. So now I'm just going to click on trim. And trim everything to make sense. So now I'm going to change the overall dimension, the overall slope to 45 degrees to match the main roof. Then I'm going to, since I want to create a Dutch gable here, I'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to uncheck this. So I'm just going to click on finish. So if you look at this, you are going to see that we have created the roof structure very well. So the first thing we're going to do just to fine tune these places, we're going to click on this wall here. We're going to click on attach to top base. Then we're going to start creating some casework. So to make this look pretty good. Okay. So we're just going to go to architecture. We're going to go to components. We're going to go to model in place. We're going to go to casework. We're going to click OK. Casework. So we're going to click on extrusion. We're going to click on set. We're going to click on pick work plane. We're going to be picking this surface and we're just going to do an extrusion. So we are going to do a draw a profile here. And we're going to draw a line of setting from this point here. We're going to draw another line of setting from this point. So now we are going to click on offset. We are going to be offsetting 150. If you have watched some of my classical videos, you must have seen the, you, you will know already what I want to do. So I'm just going to trim this here. I'm just going to trim this here. I'm going to trim this as well. So currently I'm going to put 600 millimeters as here. So it's going to match. Okay. I think this is more than 600 millimeters. Let me, let me just go and confirm. Okay. Sometimes it's hanging. Let me just assign material before I confirm the depth. So I'm going to assign this plaster material. Then I'm just going to confirm the depth from here. So I'm going to draw a line to this point. Okay, this is 700. So I'm going to change this to 700 millimeters. Okay, then I'm going to click finish. So now I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on copy. I'm going to copy this now. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to edit it. So this time I'm going to be changing it to 675 because of its 25 millimeter low. I'm going on the second level. So I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to delete this. Then I'm just going to start drawing a new profile here. Then this profile, I'm going to be drawing it from here and I'm going to draw it and offset it at 100. Okay, let me delete this now. Then I'm just going to trim this here. So now I'm going to delete this as well. I'm now going to select these two lines and I'm going to quickly mirror it. Okay, then I'm going to click on offset and I'm going to be offsetting 100 millimeters. Copy 100, copy 100. Then I'm going to trim this. Okay, then I'm going to click on finish. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. I think this is the final one. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on copy. So I'm going to be copying it one more level down. So this time the depth is now going to be different. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on edit extrusion. So I'm just going to select these two lines and I'm going to move it a bit. Let me just move it by 100. The same thing here. I'm going to select these two lines. I'm going to click on move it and I'm going to move it by 100 again. So now I'm just going to try and join it with this last plane here, which I think this last plane protrudes by... I think there's an issue with this. There's an issue somewhere. There's an issue somewhere. There's an issue somewhere. All right. So I think there's an issue, but we are going to move on regardless. So I'm just going to do this and I'm going to move this here. So I'm just going to try and just um, draw complete this profile. Let me just complete this profile. Then I'm just going to click on finish and I'm going to click on finish here. And I'm going to click on finish here and finish here. Okay, so now I'm just going to click on this line and I'm going to check the depth of this plane. This 225, so I'm going to make this 225. Okay, so now I'm just going to click on finish. So if we are going to rotate this 3D, you are going to see what I was trying to do, which is a good plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to click finish. So now I noticed an issue. I noticed the issue with this concrete facial. This concrete facial didn't place well on this wall. So instead of editing everything from scratch, I'm just going to go back to this roof level and I'm going to try and modify this a bit. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to go to 3D. I'm going to see what distance is offsetting by. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this front wall here. I'm going to click on HH. Then I'm going to rotate this to an appropriate view. And I'm going to click on this wall here. And I'm going to click on AL align key. Then I'm just going to try and click on this and just align this here. 
So I'm going to click on HR. So we are going to, going to modify the whole walls to fit in the error we made for this video because to start doing everything means we're going to scatter the whole thing. All right, so now we have created this. We can see some lines interference, which is causing some visual inconsistencies. So now I'm just going to go over to this tab here under this modify tab. I'm going to click on line work. I'm going to click on this drop down icon and I'm going to select invisible lines. So let's look for invisible lines. So these invisible lines, I'm going to use this to just double click on these lines to make them invisible. So I'm going to do this here, do this here, do this here. So I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. Do this here, do this here, do this here, do this here, and do this here. So as you can see, those invisible lines are not here. So now we are done creating the structure and the plans of the pent floor. Now we are going to start creating some fenestrations, which is pretty simple. So if you go back to DPC, we can place windows. To place windows in Revit is pretty simple. We are going to go to architecture. We are going to go to windows. So we are going to see some default windows Revit gives us. We could also access windows from our own personal library. If you have a personal library, this could be helpful. So we are just going to go under the windows family and look for some nice windows. All right. So these are the windows we have. I'm just going to go to casement windows and I'm going to be selecting some nice casement windows. So let me just try and okay, let me just try and use this one. Okay, so now I've brought in this window. I'm going to click on edit type. I'm going to modify the size, the rough width. I'm going to change it to 900 and the height to 1.8. So it's going to look good. Okay, so I'm going to just click on apply and I'm going to click OK. So the sale height, I'm going to change the sale height to 600. Then I'm just going to be placing the windows. So I'm going to place one here and I'm going to place another one here. I'm going to place one here and I'm going to place another one here. The same thing, one here. Uh, and maybe one here, one here, maybe one here. Okay, then one here, maybe one here, one here, maybe one. Just place whatever, however you want to place it. Then we can place one at this entrance, we can place one here. Then we can go to doors and we can just place a nice double swing door here. To import a double swing door, the same way we could just import a double swing door from our own personal library. So I'm just going to go to the door folder, which is here. Then I'm going to go to internal doors. Then I'm just going to place a double swing door here. I'm going to drag it in. It's going to take some time to load, but however, it's just... So now I'm just going to place the double swing door here. I'm going to click on it. And I'm just going to place the double swing door here, somewhere here. So as usual, I'm going to go over here and change this to fine. So I'm just going to drag this window here and I'm going to drag this window. So now we are going to be creating some cotton walls to run all through this place and for these pent floors because we want some more dynamic windows. So to do that, I'm simply going to go to architecture. I'm going to go to wall. I'm going to click on this drop down icon. I'm going to select cotton walls. So I'm just going to click on edit type and I'm going to make sure the cotton wall fits the parameter. Make sure it's automatically embedded. Make sure the cotton wall panel system is glazed and nothing other is edited. Then I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to adjust the offsets and the constraints of this cotton wall i'm going to change the base constraint is dpc the top constraint i'm going to change it to this higher length of. i'm going to give a 300 millimeter offset at the base constraint then i'm just going to draw a simple cotton wall so i'm going to draw this to about 600 okay so i'm going to go back to 3d view and i'm going to see what we've done so as you can see what we've done is looking good so now this cutting wall now we're just going to click on it we're going to add some munions to do that we're going to go to cutting grid and we're going to add some cutting grid so this cutting grid you can place some grids vertically and you can place some horizontally so we're going to be placing some horizontal ones according to these levels so let's just place maybe one here and one here and let's say place one here so we can still click on it and adjust the height. Let's make this 1.5. Let's make this 1.5 as well. Okay, so fine and good. So we're just going to go to munions. Now we're going to select the kind of munions we want. We, as you can see, this is the munions that is currently selected. I'm going to change. You can change the thickness. Let me change the thickness to 75 millimeters. I'm going to click OK. Click on all grids and just put it. Okay. So now we are just going to go back to DPC and we're just going to click on this and we're just going to select the center point of this wall and just mirror it, mirror it and select the center point. So the same thing, we're going to click on this, click on this, then we're just going to click on copy and we're just going to copy it to this other part. Okay, then we're going to go to this pent floor, that is this selling level, and we're just going to draw another cutting wall here. This one, we're going to be drawing a long glazing. So we're going to draw you some line works to mark out the place where we want to draw our cutting wall from. 
and just mark out the place where we want to draw a cutting wall from. Then as far as once we have done this, we are just going to go to architecture, we are going to go to walls, and we are just going to draw a cutting wall. We are going to set the top constraint as pent roof level, and we are going to give a minus offset of 600, minus 600, and the base offset to be about 1.2 due to the pent floor nature. So we are just going to draw it to this point. Then we are going to go to the 3D and see what we've done. So as you can see, okay, this is, is still within the roof. So we're going to click on this and make this 1.5. Okay, let's make it 1.650. Okay, I think it's now above. So I'm going to change this top offset to minus 300. So there will be enough ventilation. Okay, so now we're just going to go to architecture. We're going to go to cutting grids and we're just going to draw some cutting grids. So as you can see, now we've drawn some cutting grids. We're just going to click on escape. We're going to go to munion and we're going to click all grids. So now we can still place some windows in this cutting one. This is just an extra bonus in this tutorial, but I'm going to show you. So we're going to go, if you have a Revit library, you could load in some, you're going to have some cutting wall panel folder. So in that cutting wall panel folder, you're going to see cutting wall doors and cutting wall. So let's just open the cutting wall panel and let's just drag in a cutting wall window so we're just going to drag in a cutting wall window here and let's see so now the same is cannot be created in this view which is true so i'm going to click escape we're going to click on tab to select one of these cutting wall panels we're going to select the second one select the third one then we're going to go over to this tab here and unpin it then we're going to click on this drop down icon and we're going to going to select metal aluminium window and we have created place the cotton wall window so as you can see this is how to create a pent floor in a bungalow within the roof so you can see how functional this is it still has its ventilation while it's still within the roof and there will not be query or anybody telling you this is a duplex or something this is still a bungalow with a pent floor on top within the roof which gives some ma maximum utilization of spaces in your design okay so let's just take a glance at the dpc again so look at the floor plan look at the stairway leading to it look we go back to the ceiling level that is aka the pent floor level we can now see the pent floor we can see all the spaces in it so this is very good for you if you want to be designing pent floor designs which is all wonderful all right so i think this brings us to the end of this video you can see how what we have done let's just create a 3d to spice things up so we're going to go to ngl then we're going to go under these views and we're going to go to 3d views click on this drop down icon then we're going to select camera so we're just going to click on a wide angle camera view so let's just pick from here and just pick this so now we can see our pen floor duplex we can see it in 3d then we are just going to click on this change this to fine click on this drop down click on this change it to shaded then we're going to click on this to hide this crop region and hide this scope box we don't want to be seeing this so now we're going to do some graphics display option so we're just going to click on gd we're going to click on so smooth lines with anti aliasing we're going to click on shadows we're going to click on check cast shadows check show ambient shadows depth queuing we're going to go to lighting we're going to increase the sunlight we're going to increase the ambient light we're going to change the shadows to 10. then we're going to click on in light lighting session we're going to click on still and we're going to put the time we want for me i usually prefer 11 a.m i'm going to click on apply okay 11 a.m let me change this to 9 a.m and see how it goes okay let me change it to 7 a.m and click apply okay let me change it to 8 a.m so i'm just going to click ok and i'm going to click on background then under this background i'm going to set it a gradient i'm going to click on this sky color i'm going to drag it towards the bluer spectrum increase the lightness so it will be light then i'm going to click apply and i'm going to click ok all right so this is how to create a pent floor in a bungalow very simple inside the roof you have no problem functional with ventilation and it leads to maximum utilization of space so if the video was helpful don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos like this because we do this on a weekly basis don't forget that i'm going to leave this project file for you to get the template just for a small token the link will be in the description below so without any further more things to say i'm going to wish you good luck to the next video thank you very much